transitional words and phrases. Transitional words and phrases are used to guide the reader through the text. You've probably seen a lot of these common transitional words and phrases before, but you may not have thought about what their operation is, what their purpose is in the paper. So let's look at the different ways transitions can be used. You can have transitions that show time information. For instance, after, before, during, in the middle of. These all tell you when in time something is happening. You can also have transitions that indicate an example is about to be given. For example, in fact, for instance, if you say something, if you state your main idea and then you want to give a supporting example, you can say, in fact, let me tell you this thing. For example, dogs make good pets because they are very loyal. These phrases let you know that an example is coming. Transitions can be used for comparing. Also, likewise, you're saying how two things are alike. This is also like this. Likewise, we can look at how dogs are good companions. You can also use them for contrasting, saying how two things are different. However, but, yet, you would like a dog for a pet because they are so companionable, but a cat is not going to be as affectionate. They won't make as good of a companion as a dog. So you can contrast two things using however, but, yet. Transitions can be used to suggest addition, to let you know that more is coming, and also furthermore. These all let you know more is coming, more examples are coming, more information is coming, more details of the same sort. You can have transitions that reflect logical relationships. If, then, therefore, as a result, since, if I go to bed late, I might be tired in the morning. I went to bed late, therefore, I was tired in the morning. So these transitions reflect logical relationships. And our last example for transitional words and phrases are Steps in a process. And these words show that uh, exactly. They're showing steps in a process. First, you'll gather up all your ingredients. Second, you'll mix the dry ingredients in a bowl. Last, you'll take the cake out of the oven. So these steps are telling you exactly what's happening first, second, third. They may throw in next after that they may not want to just put numbered all the time like last isn't telling you the tenth step it just uses the transitional word last but it still is giving you an idea of what step that is in a process so make sure you use your transitional words and phrases where they will orient your reader and illuminate the structure of your composition You want to let your readers know where they are in your paper. If you're saying, first, this happens, next, this happens, or if it steps in a process, first, you do this, second, you do this. Or if you're comparing and contrasting things, you would say, well, here's this, likewise, there's this, however, there's this, if you're contrasting. And you want to illuminate the structure of your composition. If you're writing a compare and contrast essay, these compare and contrast transitional words are going to help highlight that that's what type of essay you're writing. If you're writing a persuasive essay, you might see a lot of examples. If you're writing an instructional essay, you'll see a lot of steps in a process. If you're writing an informational essay, you may have some logical relationships. So using these transitional words and phrases can help let your reader know what the purpose of your writing was. So please always include transitional words and phrases in your writing because you want to guide your reader through the text and let them know what your purpose is. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.